good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about battery ignition system of course uh, there are different types of ignition systems we have battery ignition system magneto ignition system transistorized ignition system capacitive discharge ignition system there are variety of ignition systems we have in this class we are focusing on battery ignition system this is the circuit used in battery ignition system first of all let us identify all the parts in the battery ignition system battery ignition switch ballast resistor primary coil and secondary coil combined together as ignition coil and the contact breaker this is the primary circuit this is condenser and the secondary circuit is something like secondary coil and the distributor first of all we should uh, know about the ballast resistor when current is supplying from the battery to the ignition coil the ignition coil temperature is increases so to reduce the temperature in the ignition coil we place the ballast resistor the function of the ballast resistor is ballast resistor is used to restrict the amount of current flow to the ignition coil it will restrict the amount of current flow to the primary primary and secondary coil if coil temperature increases if the ignition coil temperature increases the ballast resistance also increase so if temperature increases automatically the resistance of the ballast resistor also increase so if the resistance increases current flow to the ignition coil is reduced so temperature reduce so current flow is reduced that is the function of a ballast resistor then we need to think about the working about working of battery ignition system whenever we turn on the ignition switch current starts flow from ignition switch then ballast resistor then primary coil and the, from the primary coil if the contact breaker is wo close then when the, the primary circuit is closed the current flow takes place in this direction and in the primary circuit in the in this direction for example if the cam because of the cam movement if the contact breaker is open the current flow is stopped because the circuit is open and the current flow is enter the current is just entering into the condenser that means the condenser is getting charging the condenser get get charging in this situation when the condenser is getting charged the current flow the amount of current flow entering into the primary coil is reduced so the sudden reduction of current in the primary coil induces a magnetic magnetic field this uh, sudden change in current induces a sudden change in magnetic field that change in magnetic field induces a emf that emf means it's a current again that emf is also uh, moving along with the previous current that means these two currents are traveling in the same direction so that means this condenser is getting charged by two currents one is from the battery current and the second one the second current is which is produced in the primary coil due to change in magnetic field these two current charge the condenser to a high voltage to a voltage much higher than the battery voltage when this battery when this condenser is high voltage than battery the current flow starts from condenser to the battery that means the current moves in the reverse direction when current flows in the reverse direction it induces a reverse magnetic field which induces a high voltage in the secondary coil and this high voltage in the secondary coil is sent to the distributor the distributor will supply this voltage to the corresponding cylinder for example if the, the situation if this rotor that means this arrow mark uh, is connected to the cylinder 1 so that means the cylinder 1 is getting fire after that the further movement of the rotor in the forward direction the clockwise direction leads to touch the third point third point is connected to the third cylinder third cylinder is fi fired that means the firing order is first to one then third then further movement go to fourth that means fourth cylinder then further movement lead to second cylinder so that means the firing order is 1 3 4 2 already you guys know what is firing order so that means the the distributor will take care of the firing order so that means uh, the production of you know high voltage in the secondary coil is sent to the distributor the distributor will take care of you know when to supply and where to supply 
and which cylinder in need it is firing that will take care of the distributor itself the cam is also connected this contact breaker is connected to the cam so the cam is connected to the crankshaft crankshaft is connected to the piston so that means piston movements are traced whenever we need spark this cam will open the contact breaker then automatically the current flow in the primary coil reduces that means that induces high voltage in the secondary coil it produces the voltage in the secondary coil and it will produce the spark in the corresponding spark plug so like that it will work out thank you very much